In a world that is growing increasingly advanced, technology plays a huge role in everyday life. As of today, there are 61.34 million internet users and 46 million social media users in Pakistan. But with the rise of these information networks comes a very real risk. In 2020 alone, almost 84,000 complaints were lost to the cybercrime wing of the Federal Investigation Agency, out of which most were in relation to defamation, cyber blackmailing, cyber harassment, and hate speech. These crimes have resulted in a general fear of using the internet among society, particularly amongst women. 70% of women are afraid of posting their pictures online because they could be misused, while 40% are stalked and harassed using messaging apps. The Digital Rights Foundation's Cyber Harassment Helpline reported 2,023 cases or 146 calls every month during 2019, counting for 45% of the overall complaints received in the last three years. At least 57% of the reports are from women who register personal complaints, followed by 30% men who had called the helpline. Majority of the callers are aged between 21 and 25, while the most vulnerable group comprised of young women. A continuous rise in cyber harassment complaints from 98 cases in January to 697 cases in July has been observed since the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak in Pakistan. The gender desegregated breakdown of the complaints received from March to August indicates that women are disproportionately affected by cyber harassment. 68% of the complaints received by women drawing attention to the existing gender disparity in our patriarchal society. 47% of women believe that cybercrime complaints won't be taken seriously when they go to law enforcement agencies, which limits the scope of how many women are actually reporting their experiences. Data also suggests that the majority of the perpetrators were men, who were harassing and violating the rights of women, children, and non-binary individuals, forcing them to limit their participation online, and consequently increasing the digital gender divide. In terms of social media, Facebook remains at the top with a total of 42,357 complaints of cybercrime reported during 2018 to 2020, while WhatsApp comes in second with approximately 18,000 complaints, followed by emails and phone calls with 14,109 and 8,618 complaints respectively. The following episodes will provide information and guidance on the types of cybercrimes and solution to those victimized. Living in an era of cybercrime, there will always remain the uncertainty as to who the next victim will be, because they might be closer than you think.